Sneaky parasol. Huh. <laughs> kind of forgot about that <laughs> a few episodes ago. Changing to someone else when I use it, right? Get out of here? Oh yeah, sounds like a perfect plan. Why don't you try it out? <laughs> Press B while facing whoever it is you want to transform into. Alright, sounds great. Anyways, hello good friends, it's the Twi-King, and thanks for joining me on another session of Paper Mario. As Peach is looking for a way to finally get out of this castle. <laughs> and hopefully rescue some of her really good friends in the castle. And Loyal people. Ooh! And that's what happens when you press B. How goes it? <laughs> They've been working me like a dog lately. <laughs> well... Don't most of us workers work like dogs, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> On patrol, you can pass through. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, it feels kind of weird to be controlling a Koopa patrol. You surprised me, that's all. <laughs> Alright. And you, sir. Where's my relief? My shift's been over for ages. <laughs> Could you find that slacker and get him up here? <laughs> uh, you know how much I don't like slackers. He looks like this. <laughs> A chapter 3 enemy. Probably goofing off outside the castle. Take this to find him. You got a castle key. <laughs> Alright. Key to the entrance of the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. Actually, you won't be able to get outside without it. <laughs> you can already go downstairs uh, with that other key that was handed over by Gourmet Guy. But this key gets you outside. <laughs> hmm. I wasn't controlling those kind of movements right there. But there's something really funny I want to try out before I uh, go outside to that door. <laughs> I hope it, I hope it's not too harsh, but I at least want to give it a try. <laughs> we'll get a move on. <laughs> of course they'll get a move on. But yeah, I want to go in here really, really quickly <laughs> and check something. <laughs> Let me see what happens <laughs> if I meet up with this toad. Or, nope, he will not open it. Never mind. <laughs> I just thought it sounded pretty cool <laughs> to give it a try, but that does not work. Well, time to go out this door. Hmm. Oop. So very sleepy. Just let me catch a quick nap, but don't tell anyone. Bleh. Eh. Well, they don't call you a slacker for nothing. <laughs> but before I go any further, I would like to see what else is around here. <laughs> Can I go through this door? Ugh. Stupid game won't let me go in that door. Oh well. But, I need to go back into Peach really quickly. And go into this guy. <laughs> Let's see if he'll recognize me as a duplicate. It's just me. Hello me. <laughs> oh, what an idiot he is. <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> He had to think it was just himself rather than, like, um, a brethren of him. <laughs> How about if I talk to this guy right here? Oh, I don't need to go in there. <laughs> I was just wondering what he would say. Some big scene above Peach's castle. Ooh. <laughs> oh, there's good information right there, and Twink is still having a big smile about it. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. Alright. Alright. wonder what the guy in front will say, right here. Where have you been? You took your sweet time. <laughs> yep. He sure did take his sweet time. Finally, about time. You're so late. Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? <laughs> I should know how to read those, but, um, Clubbas don't have the brain to. Guess I'll let it go this time, but watch it. Have a good shift. I'm shoving off. 
And don't goof off either, you're on thin ice. <laughs> thin ice, that, that's a really good term to use. <laughs> when you're kind of in trouble with work. <laughs> There's that broken window all the way back from the first episode. <laughs> but... Time to see what's up <laughs> this way of the castle. <laughs> Haven't seen this kind of room. <laughs> and even this kind of bridge. Entry is prohibited for unauthorized people. But you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. <laughs> A stupid restriction. <laughs> Oop. Everything's finally ready. <laughs> we'll still be alright. <laughs> really? Pays to expect the worst. It pretty much does. <laughs> Now there's something I really don't understand here. You there. You're doing a fine job. But this. Keep up the good... Wait, something's weird about you. You smell too nice. I don't know how the uh, other enemies couldn't smell him. Uh-oh. Why, you little peach? Unbelievable, out again! Guards, all of you, catch this little runaway. Take her back to her room. <laughs> no. No. That jerkish Kami Koopa. When will she ever learn? What a pleasure meeting you. The name is Clevar. <laughs> Huff and Puff is gone. Yeah, the most notorious boss ever. <laughs> Never seen the light again, you got that right. Only one of us star spirits still trapped, just one more, Mario. Please use my power as you continue. Mario's star energy goes up to six, and can now use timeout and those star spirit power. With timeout, you can stop time and stop all enemies in their tracks. A move I may not use as often as well. Use the powers of six star spirits. If you use mine well, it should be proved to be extremely helpful. <laughs> yep. Don't become overconfident, though. You must be careful. <laughs> Terribly worried about everyone. You got that right. Well, see you later. You saved the star spirit, I sure did. Beautiful again. <laughs> Meet a man of your stature. <laughs> Come see me again, I'll be looking forward. Sounds cool. I'm going to save really quickly. <laughs> uh, I need to go back to Toad Town. <laughs> I don't know why you had to ask me that. <laughs> Alright. And before I head on over to where Chapter 7 is, I need to go in here really quickly. Really, if I can... There we go. Came at such a good time. Yep, this is what. A guest waiting for you. I come from Starborn Valley. Hmm. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region. Chill place far to the north at the very end of the earth. Hmm. Meryl, who hails from there, said he has something important to tell you. Alright. Meryl is your son. Alright, we'll go to Starborn Valley. Somewhere deep below is Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Starboard Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Alright, we'll go ahead and meet him. But yeah, we never got to hear in the Peach uh, Prologue where the last Star Spirit is being held captive. And, um, in the last session I, uh, 
said that I would forego battling uh, Ken C. Koopa, but I've actually decided to give him a try, especially since I have everything right here. I got a move in mind that I want to try to get him out with. Um, and there's a character that I should use for this. Let me, uh, let me look and see who that should be again. I'm trying to think about who that should be. Um... Yeah, I'll use Watt for it. Hey, you in the hat. <laughs> sure, I'll remember it. If you want to use this road, you need to pay me a hundred coins. <laughs> Man, that's way too harsh. It's all about the money. Right. I'll cream ya. <laughs> right. I warned you, though, this may hurt a little bit. <laughs> I hate that kind of trippy part. But, let's go ahead and... Oh! That wasn't supposed to happen. Well, at least I can get a good start right here. From what? <laughs> yep, very lethal attacks. What I'm really trying to do is get him on his back. Like that. That's better. Okay. Alright, one more of this. Is he gonna do another? Oh! Well, that came from out of nowhere. Alright. Now here's what I really should do. Try to put him to sleep with a lullaby. That way I could have plenty of turns to jump on on the front side of him. Yep, and he'll be asleep for four turns. Unfortunately, Watt <laughs> kind of um, it's not going to help me as much. All right, now he's on his side like that. All right, I'll do a supercharge. Alright, Wad is finally up. Um, yeah. Let's try a couple power bounces. Hmm, alright, that wasn't too bad, actually. Well, get another attack from Wad. Ooh! Merly, thank you! Maybe Wad won't get hurt either. Well, actually, he, I thought he was still going to attack me, but that, that didn't happen. Okay. At least I'm gradually recovering some HP. Huh, now he got back up. Oh, got that attack dodged. Alright, let's put him to sleep again. It really needs to work, though. Alright, he's asleep again. Good. Alright. Time to put him on his back again. Oh! Mistimed that. Ugh. Man, that's really gonna... That could cost me the battle. But I'm not panicking. Okay, got him on his back, finally. Okay. One more supercharge should do it. Okay, is he getting up? Not quite. Well... Another power jump. Yeah, six. There's a good reason why I did the supercharge. He's still not done yet, but he's getting close, I can tell. Nine, alright. Still need to put him to sleep.
All right, back to Sleepy Goes. <laughs> He should be getting awfully close. Ooh! I think I might actually be able to get an attack point on him with this. Uh, no I can't. Well, that was a big waste. I was hoping that as he was about to get on his back, I would still get, like, at least one attack point on him. But, that never happened. Yeah, I'll just keep doing supercharges. If he's nowhere near dead yet. Alright, he's gone! <laughs> and leveling up. Badge points are going up next. Badly need more badge points. Being a guy my size. Guess I have to give up. See you later. <laughs> and he's... Dashing away. <laughs> Is Colorado still standing there? Nope. It's like he just magically went back home. Huh. <laughs> After that ended. But... Oh yeah, that's right, I leveled up. <laughs> if I did not level up, I would have really needed to go into there. But, that's fine. Let's see what the bad shop has. What's this? Group focus. Let's party member... Mario's party members use the focus command also. In order to increase the star spirit power, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. Mario's jump power. Um, that's um, a downgrade to the other one I just received from the battle before Huff and Puff. Spin smash. If Mario hits an enemy, it smashes into the ones behind it. Sounds pretty useful, but I don't think I'm going to be needing that. I'm going to go two screens off for a bit and see if I can trigger newer badges on there. Newer, more desirable badges. And yeah, I should put Speedy Spin back on, too. As well as Quick Change. I just only took those off for Huff and Puff because I really wanted to make sure I had jumping badges on good. The action command works attack power of 1. If not, it's 0. Ugh, that doesn't sound cool. Makes the action command work more frequently. Sure. Maximum HP by 5. <laughs> A cheap badge there. Alright. Let me get some... Whoops, not that. Get the some of the badges back on. I'll keep this one on, though. Um, power balance should be fine. Um, yeah, Mega Smash is already fine. I'd rather use that over that. Um... Don't really need a Quake one. Or even FP+. Plus. Um, Spike Shield, I think I am going to need that for this next chapter. I could be wrong, but um, I'm just going to put it on anyway. Alright, Speedy Spin. Um, wait a second, I just realized something. I'll keep a Spike Shield on, but... Um, I think I'll take off Close Call. Quick Change is the other thing I need to use. And um, for Power Bounce, I still may need it for the Chapter 7 boss. Um, but I still would like to equip Quick Change. Maybe I'll take off Mega Smash for now and equip Quick Change. Next time I level up, I will use Badge Points again. Especially so I can get the, uh, the Mega Smash uh, Hammer Badge back on. Alright, time to head on down here. Hey good friends, it's me, the Twiki, and I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Paper Mario. If you would like to leave feedback on this episode, I would like to hear your reactions, or the project in general. Also, keep up with my stuff on my YouTube channel by subscribing, and follow me on Twitter for faster updates. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Have an awesome day. So long.